Hi kids! Yay! Today is a great day to spend at the museum. Have you ever visited a Sea Life Museum before? They are also known as aquarium. Other day, I went to one Sea Life Museum and it was amazing. I really had a blast learning more about dolphins, seals, fishes, and even sharks. The thing that I enjoyed the most was no getting to hear the sounds of whales and the all other animals that live under the sea. Today we will be learning about another way that we can use our senses to experience God. So before we go to our Bible story exhibit, let's discover the big idea for today together. But what about we discover our big idea when we do an impression that if we are swimming with the fishes? Haha! <laughs> the big idea for today is that we can hear God's voice if we listen. That's amazing, right? So let's go together learn more about our Bible story exhibit for today. It's time for today's Bible story. John was doing the job that God had sent him to do. He was baptizing people in the river and getting them ready to see Jesus. And then one day, Jesus was there at the river. He had come to be baptized too. John couldn't believe it. Jesus was God's son. He didn't do anything wrong ever. Why did he need to be baptized? But Jesus said that it had to be done. So John baptized Jesus. He put him under the water and brought him back up. When he did this, the sky opened. God's spirit came down as a kind of bird called a dove. And then God spoke. God said that Jesus was God's son, who God loved, and that Jesus made God very happy. John had been telling everyone the very same thing about Jesus, but now they heard it from God's very own voice. Because we can hear God's voice if we listen. Oh, that's so awesome! I really enjoyed to learn about this part of Jesus' life. Do you remember last week's Bible story? I cannot remember the name of the guy that we talked about. He used to eat grasshoppers and honey, that's the things that I remember. And he also used to talk about Jesus to everyone, but I can't remember his name. Do you remember? Oh yes, good job, thank you. His name is John the Baptist. How could I forget? John the Baptist helped people to get ready to experience God through Jesus. This week, we heard about that his amazing encounter with Jesus. In case you forgot John the Baptist's name like I did before, he was the guy that was telling everyone about Jesus. When people were ready for a new life with God, John the Baptist used to baptize them in water in the river. So one day, John was doing the usual thing he used to do telling people about Jesus and baptizing those who are ready for a new life with God. And all of a sudden, Jesus shows up at the Jordan River where John was baptizing people. And he was so excited because the person that he was talking about was there right in front of him, ready to be baptized as well. And then something very, very cool happened. The skies had this very big, beautiful, bright light that no one could look up because it was so bright. And God's spirit came down like a dove and everyone could hear God's voice that you can read in Luke chapter 3, 22, that says, and a voice came from heaven. You are my son, whom I love. With you, I'm well pleased. So all those people that were around Jesus that day could hear God's voice as God was talking to Jesus. 
That was amazing, right? Imagine yourself if you could be there for that day and hear God's voice as all that thing happening at the same time. That for sure would be a day to remember. Many people that were there that day could hear God's voice and they were very, very sure that indeed Jesus was the Son of God and for sure they could trust Him. So, now what? What God wants us to do with that? We can hear God's voice if we listen and God wants us to share His voice with others as well. We can hear God's voice when we pray, when we read the Bible, and through our parents as well. We just need to learn to recognize God's voice when He speaks to us. When God speaks to us in an encouraging way, we can share that voice with others by sharing what God told you. It is awesome to know that we can share God's voice with others as well. It's amazing to know that we can share God's voice with others as well. Everyone can benefit from knowing how much God loved them and care about them as well. So, look for chances to tell your family and friends out loud how much you care about them. You can do that anywhere, anytime. For example, you can do that while you're playing or while you're sharing a meal. Speaking about meal, this week you can talk to your parents about these three questions at dinner time. Why do you think John was so shocked that Jesus wanted to be baptized by him? What did God say when Jesus came out of the water? What are some things you know God is saying to you through the Bible or through others. So friends, it's been amazing to learn that we can listen to God's voice. I have to go soon, but before I do, let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for the fact that we can hear your voice if you listen. Also, thank you for speaking to us. Help us to know where your voice is coming from by listening to the people who care about us as well. And help us, Lord, to share your voice with others. We pray all these things in your name and everybody say it together, Amen! All right, now is the time to do some activities about what we've learned today. You can ask your parents to go to our Facebook page, the link is just down here, and there you can find some activities to do about the lesson of today. So that's it for me for today, kids. I see you next week. Bye!